north winds, the south winds, the east winds of this building, O oh God. Lord, I thank you, O oh God, that the enemy will not be able to penetrate the hedge of protection that you have around this word that will be decreed and declared on tonight. Lord, we just pray that your healing virtue will go forth, O oh God. Lord, may your healing touch, touch each and every person that is in need of healing in this house. Lord, praying special prayers for Pastor Housem, Minister Kendrillin, Sister Robert, Roberta Adams, Sister Sandy Mayo, Sister Keisha Kirkland, Brother Mario Hicks, Lord, the Schamberger and Hauser family. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over them. Lord, praying that you'll perfect everything that concerns them, O oh God. May your healing virtue and your comforting power go forth. Lord, may your glory be manifested in this house on tonight. And I'm careful to give you the praise, the glory, and honor that's due unto the holy and righteous name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, my King of King and my Lord of Lord. I humbly submit myself unto you. In Jesus Christ's name, I see this prayer. Amen. And to God be the glory. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Anybody have a praise on the inside? Anybody got rejoicing that can spring forth from their mouth on this night? Amen. Thanking and praising God because he's worthy to be praised. Pastor Hauser sent me this year's theme for the 11th commemoration service, the church, the people of God, praising and proclaiming God to the world. Well, before we go into tonight's text, I would like to take a moment and reflect on your chosen scripture of 1 Peter, the second chapter, verses 9 through 10. It reads, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God. The message translation, but you are the ones chosen by God, chosen for the high calling of priestly work, chosen to be a holy people, God's instruments to do his work and speak out for him, to tell others of the night and day difference he made for you, from nothing to something, from rejected to accepted. The church. The church is not a building. Though we are standing on this beautiful campus, it is not the building that makes us the church. The church is we the believers, the body of believers in Christ Jesus. We in the New Testament church, we've accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. Can anybody say that you accepted the Lord as your Savior? Amen. 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 So we're in the house. Okay. We agree to believe in and behave like Christ. Following the pattern that Jesus displayed, we are then baptized. We understand that there's two parts to the baptism. There's the water baptism and the baptism of the Spirit. But Mark 16 lets us know that we're not doing this baptism to become saved, but in obedience to the Scripture. We then made a commitment to be taught and prepared to share Christ and his ministry with others. Now, God just said, a lot of us don't want to be taught, though. We ready to go out and declare, but we don't even know the word enough to go and declare. Amen. But ye are a chosen generation. Now, I looked up the definition of chosen, and it said appoint, select, call out. So let's put it in scripture. But ye are an appointed generation. You are a selected generation. You are a called out generation. It was God's choice to establish a unique and exclusive relationship by calling the people to be his very own. The scripture says that we are a royal priesthood. Royal having a status of a king or a queen or a member of the family. 
Revelation 19, 16 says, And he hath on his vesture, and on his...